Hey everybody, um, amazing work so far in the first two weeks of the course. I've had so much fun reading your writing. This is uh, some context for week three, which has some um, kind of uh, more specific instructions for how to share the make. We're going to create writing assignments for each other and you have a partner and then you're going to share a slide deck in a, in a large slide deck that we all have. So um, I think I'll probably do like a screen capture walkthrough just to kind of show you. But for now, let me give you some of the context for the week. Uh, and, I, and some of this is to like model how you're talking through the rationale of why you put things together. So this week for me really does build on what the final task is that it asks you to do. So the work that we're doing with about the authors on Monday in chapters six and seven is very specific to uh, writing activity design and unit plan design. And I have a couple of questions in there for you to think through. They have a great list of mini lessons and, and genre studies and the kinds of things they would ask students to do. And I'm gonna have you talk through what you, how you might take those up. And then um, chapter seven has some ideas about assessment. So I'm going to have you think through those ideas. So more specific prompts for chapter six and seven than we've done in the last one, for example. And then six and seven is supposed to help think through, yeah, how are we doing these activities or lesson studies? And then the reading that we're doing for Tuesday is actually a piece from, I showed you this last week, from Language Arts. Um, not this exact issue, but um, a very current piece um, called, what's it called? Called Backyard Birds, a project to integrate science, English, visual literacy, and art. And again, my intention there is to have you see models of writing activities, particularly ones that pull together across multiple disciplines, which I love. Um, and you won't have a response for that, so just leave a, leave some, you've already been doing this, I'm not worried about it, but leave some substantive comments on the article itself, and then you don't have to do another write-up for it. And then by Wednesday, much shorter post, um, but I am going to have you play with Common Core Standards. I'm going to have you pick a grade level you think you might want to teach and pull out a couple of Common Core Standards that you might use for your activity you're going to design for your partner. So I feel like this all builds. Ideas from about the author, ideas from an article from Language Arts for elementary school teachers playing with Common Core and then ready to design your assignment for the person to try out. So the way that's gonna work is you. there's pretty detailed instructions in the assignment sequence and I would read that assignment early. Like read it and then do the rest of the work knowing that you have the assignment in mind for the creating an activity for a partner. Um, as I said, we're going to share it on a slide deck instead of in Canvas, the actual writing activity, so we can see everybody's. And so you're going to play the role of both teacher and student. So you have a partner. You're both at first going to be the teacher who creates an activity, and then you're going to try each other's activities out as the student and give a little feedback as the teacher. So um, all on a shared slide deck. So you're going to make your own slide deck that has the responses to the prompts for the, creating the writing activity and has the writing activity itself. And you're going to paste that slide deck into ours, our class's shared one. And then when you go to be the student and, and do the assignment that the teacher is asking you to do, you're going to share your response also in that slide deck. And I think it'll make sense when you see how I have the slide deck organized. And I, I think I'll do a little screen capture just to make it a little bit clearer too. When in doubt, send me the links and I'll put them there for you. Like, don't stress. Um, email me if you get stuck. I tried to partner you <laughs> with folks in the class that are going at about the same pace. So there are people who always work two or three days ahead, and I tried to put you together so you're not being held up in case you want to work ahead. So I tried to do it, and if you're someone who's always behind, <laughs> I tried to put you with someone who's always kind, just so you're not frustrated with each other, you know, like, so that you're at similar pacing. I'm not putting a lot of judgment there. Sometimes you're working a couple jobs and trying to do this, I'm just saying trying to match so that you appreciate how someone does their pacing of getting the thing done. So, um, yeah, if you, if I, if it was me and I put a link in the assignment, I'm pretty sure, um, I would go back and look at our intro, um, slides where we like introduced ourselves, um, and see, and see some stuff about your partner. So you have a little better sense of who this person is that you got paired with. Um, 
I think that's what I, all I want to say for now. And um, as I mentioned, and I'm sorry it sound, if it sounded harsh, but um, assignments can't be late this week just because they do build on each other and they really can't, the writing assignment really, really cannot be late for your partner. And so by Thursday night at midnight, that thing needs to be posted earlier is better, but by Thursday night at midnight so that the person has time to do the response by Sunday. So I just don't have a lot of flexibility and I'm hoping you just get it done because you're going to create some problems for me and the partner if you don't get it done because then I got to find them someone else or another pair to add them to so that they have someone who can respond to theirs. And so please just be a good colleague and get the thing done. This is the one time and, you know, next week we have some stuff we have to get done on time. But just do your best to get all the things done. And if you're feeling like, I'm not going to make it, I need an email early so that I can resolve some of that. So, yeah, thanks for paying attention to those kind of things, timeliness and, and the assignment. So, yeah, read, read um, make four, creative effect, creating effective writing assignments early this week so that you have a sense of what you're doing and, and uh can ask me any questions and then I'll post a screenshot of what I'm thinking will happen when you share this probably not for a couple days but I will I will by Monday okay thanks y'all for all your work appreciate it